this collection is one of a kind. Think about how few senior generals there were in the Japanese military at the time, particularly this one that is arguably the greatest Japanese battlefield commander of World War II. And then to have all of this related to his person all in one place, it's some really amazing stuff. And the first thing that I'm drawn to right away are the ropes. I take that these were used in the execution. Yes, they were. Uh, this is a section, as we understand it, this is a section of the rope that actually hung General Tomoyuki Yamashita in 1946, February 23, 1946. These were used to bound his hands behind his back. Captain Helderman, at the time, then Captain Helderman, actually escorted Yamashita to the gallows and cut these off and took these off the body. Do you think he kept them because of the friendship he developed with him? Oh, I don't think there's any question. The two men, you can see it in the papers, you can see it uh, in the accounts that we have of their relationship. It was obviously very close. Um, we have photographs, um, some of them are on this table, of them doing their daily exercise walks together and walking and talking. There's no question these two men were close and, and had a deep respect for each other. It's a statement that no matter what your ideology, no matter what your politics, no matter whose side you're on, at the end of the day, we can still all connect as humans on some level. So this, this is from the 1950s. This is Lieutenant Colonel Helderman went to Japan in oh, 1954. Okay. And Yamashita actually had given Helderman his last letter to his wife and said, can you get this personally to your wife? or to my wife. And so this is him giving the letter to Mrs. Yamashita. Oh, I see. Almost 10 years after her husband's death. In 1941, Yamashita was sent on a visit to Europe to visit the Axis partners of Japan. And he has audiences and presents gifts on behalf of the emperor to Mussolini in Italy. And then here is his audience with Adolf Hitler in uh, January, February of 1941. This is General Yamashita's defense map for northern Luzon. He knew when MacArthur landed in 1945, he was not going to be able to beat the Americans on the beach. He also knew his biggest mission was to hang on as long as he could. And he decided that the bulk of his army, 152,000 under his personal command, would hold out in the mountains of northern Luzon. Each of these arrows is pro possible U.S. invasion places. He notes where the Americans, the parachutes, where they might drop in parachutes. As a matter of fact, this area, we do exactly this. We land in, in the summer of 1945 and we drop parachutists. We're going to invade the Japanese home islands from which there is no retreat. And it gives you an insight into, into what the Japanese armed forces would have greeted us with had we actually made that invasion. I am very thankful every time I consider the possible invasion of Japan I'm very thankful we never had to do it.